All right, let's see how we're doing here, guys. It's time. Everybody sit down. I want you to get a drink. You know, hot chocolate, you know, herb tea. Whatever works for you, you know. Let your whistle, relax, uh, get the fire going if it's cold up there. It's got a little cold here. We can't do Mexico. I did this old family read this morning in a hoodie. It was ridiculously cold, probably like 69, which normally you would think you'd like, but no. Um, so Ethereal Visions and Illuminated Tarot deck is the deck of choice here for a story time read. And I've already pre-shuffled, kind of get this one along. So we're going to do 10 cards. I'm going to do the reversals. And what I'm looking for here is your story and love. While I'm doing this, um, I'll show you all these as we go along, guys. <laughs> so while I'm doing this, as uh, for Libras, uh, singles. Otherwise, if you've got someone in your mind, check out the heart spreader. Uh, and, oh, the moon pops back up. Oh, it's like the only repetition so uh wow um and give me a minute to put this together it's my first week doing the uh tara story time and i'm hoping i'm going to get a little more depth than was in the meet the soulmate but i was thinking i might still do like a whole week of meet the soulmate kind of switch back and forth weeks and kind of get because uh, this is going to take some time to work out <clears throat> but I like to kind of get a scope of the story like yesterday one was a whole lifetime and one was just from like the age of 38 till 40 you know uh, it seemed like um, this does kind of imply lifetime um, I think this ace of wands goes back to your first love um, and um, I didn't really think of the bottom of the deck so much on this, but it, it came out as Empress, and you know, be that as it may, that's there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I think this goes back to your first love, the first time that you fell in love, Libra. If you could think of that, you know, do you? Uh, it may have been a verse, the boy or verse girl. I mean, God, for me, what was it? I think it was the camp counselor that came uh lisa i'll never forget lisa man i loved her so hard um and uh, it was hopeless though i was uh 14 she was 19. It was an impossible uh, romance unrequited love that was my first experience and the reason i kind of bring that up because it's over top the hermit so you know i think your first outing in love um ended um started very passionately and it kind of flamed up and flamed out Libra uh, somehow um, there's no fault to be had or anything um, likely it's just young you, you this may have been when you were a teenager you know um, but going into the hermit mode I already like this and then also seeing the chariot so uh, seriously Libra what I see here is you're a high functioning person you're doing the work Whatever that means, the shadow work, the good work of self, you know, you're pointing your finger at you. You're not pointing it at them and him and her all the time. And this gets you into this new energy um, that's the chariot. You know, and I see with you this up and down too, uh, energy, up and down, the uh, ace and then the hermit and then the chariot, which is amazingly powerful energy of moving really moving forward it's like if the hermit goes in and does his job you know he or she right the hermit does their job um, but when they're done they know everything about themselves and I have, even like Jesus said above all else know thyself so once they know thyself then maybe this is also aligning with our spiritual destiny how I see the chariot and having some kind of real victory uh, almost at a deeper spiritual level. I could align this as an astrologer. I got a feeling that if you would think back, uh, this came uh, maybe just before or around maybe your first Saturn return, 28, 29, maybe 30. Um, and then uh, again, you go down here with the Eight of Swords. Um, 
So Libra, I see you in, in your youth, uh, kind of having a solitary path, trying to uh, make connections and kind of not really getting them, you know? Um, and this represents with the Ace of Swords, your first real relationship. And I gotta think this is, this is anything from post high school years to early college years to it's early adulthood. I tell you, it's the sixth house in astrology. That's what this is in the maturation process. It's, uh, you know, the fifth house is uh, going out and having fun, getting out, you know, into the environment and expressing yourself and all the glories of youth, you know. But um, when we get to the sixth house, it's about uh, discernment, you know. Really, you're starting to discern a mate in the sixth house. And what is seven of pentacles but discernment it's very the definition of discernment you're discerning the value and taking it very seriously taking a very hard realistic look now um and ace of swords is being very honest and truthful i think with yourself it's like you're seeing things by the way it's kind of the energy of neptune neptune is now stationing direct to go direct at 20 degrees uh pisces really powerful energy and so this could be between the ace of swords and the uh, and seven of pentacles uh, when you were stripped of all your illusions you might say mm. and i could definitely see this coming after the saturn return you might have had a difficult saturn return if you're not familiar with that concept i as an astrologer i think it's one of the things that you at least kind of uh it's not hard to figure out you can, where your Saturn degree is and uh, uh, where, uh, when, about, it would have hit for you, see? And uh, this helps you really uh, get alignment, right? If you look at right what was going on right then in your life when your Saturn return kicked in, it, it'll always kind of tell you the theme about what's going on. And this is where we're structuring the next 30 years of our life. It's the busiest time of our life, it's supposed to be the most productive time. The meat of our life, raising our children from 30 to 60, buying and paying for a home, uh, working on our career, rising up in our career. And and this is you, maybe kind of recognizing adulthood too. I mean, you could even just call it, this is like adulting, you know. Um, but I think you're coming to this, Libra, from a very good place. Um, but I see you constantly challenged in love. And then um, you have these cups coming in. And again, it's like, uh, I think in love with you, uh, tell me, Libra, leave a comment. It's often like uh, in your mind or a crush or, or not exactly, doesn't exactly materialize. Um, you might have Neptune in the seventh house just as a natal placement. But seven of cups and then the four of swords. Um, it, it's just kind of energy like you're sitting it out. Um, like, I, I got a feeling like if this is the energy of um, it, it's really better for me to just uh, be able to kind of sit back and imagine all of the incredible and maybe sexy, you might have some Scorpio placements, not unusual for Libras, uh, but you know, I'm a Sag and I got a Venus in Scorpio, so I understand. So really intense energies, you know, uh, uh, to some degree, it also can be romanticized. Neptune is romance. That's in the seventh house. Here you go. It's like no real relationship could possibly touch the romantic potential, the, the one that's in your uh, imagination here. You often find, like, I bet you Black Moon Lilith is going to be relevant to that somehow. Um, and kind of what's going on there. And then the Four of Swords. It's just not feeling like you're really ready um, <clears throat> for a relationship. Here you weren't ready kind of mentally when you're in this Eight of Swords energy as you're going into the Saturn return. And then when you come out and you realize what game you're playing, and that, an astrologer says after your Saturn return, you're really fully an adult, uh, we say. Um, and then this is your experience with love and it seems very dreamy and um, unsatisfying and um, you could be left yourself just kind of saying, you know, I'm kind of done with this. I need a minute. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the saying that, you know, the dating scene can be brutal, especially like online dating. Let's say is what you were in.
but it can be like um, you're getting weary too. Maybe you're getting weary of this fantasy Neptune because when Neptune goes direct and it's doing it now, you know, this energy is big. I mean, already feeling it and it's going to strip away the illusions. You might have been uh, prone to this. Might have been a Neptune transit that did it the first time, remember? So it stripped away illusions. This is exactly what this is. Stripping away illusions. And then I want to clarify this moon because we have the moon and then finally the Ace of Pentacles. And I love, I mean, we start the reading with the Ace of Wands and we end the reading with the Ace of Pentacles. This is amazing and I think very good. But the moon is something hidden uh, something yes during all of this process man or woman forget the queen your dude just be all the queen you can be but uh, <clears throat> at pinnacles particularly uh, during all of this process and it's like you may not really realize this this is what you don't the man is not ominous it's like oh you don't see something that's a fatal flaw <clears throat> you don't see that you are enough you don't see the, the value your own value and with the Ace of Pentacles here, it's like a future position to me. This is you seeing your full value and then putting it out there in a practical way um, into life. Um, and really knowing your own value. Maybe that was the lesson, deepest lesson for you all along. Um, you could even say this first experience in love. I think probably they came on really strong. They said things. You know, when we're going through adolescence, this could have been all the way back in adolescence, we're being imprinted, and our experiences there can heavily impact, you know, our entire life, how we create like a sexual strategy, guys. And it could have been, if you got hit with this right at that time, you know, it leads to, you know, not feeling adequate. And, you know, really going through this series, I see these ups and downs and ups and downs. And, you know, I'm not really saying at all like manic behavior. I'm just saying these efforts and relationships being hopeful and then unfulfilling and then hopeful. And you're making major adjustments at your Saturn return. I mean, you're making Saturn happy, I feel like. Ace of Swords and the Seven Pentacles should work for you. And it does. It's like you have one more false start. I don't know if you've had that yet. I hope so. And then you figure out what's going on, what you didn't realize before. That you really are the queen of pentacles you are more than enough the queen of pentacles she don't worry about anybody else what they think of her do they want her do they like her you know she thinks about are you what can you do for my kingdom that's how she's looking at someone else and this is very practical grounded energy so i would say out of all this someone's going to come into your life between this uh, queen of pentacles here uh, libras and the Queen of uh, Ace of Pentacles. Um, it's hard even to say their age because it kind of counter each other with age. Um, but a, a solid person, I think you've earned them. That's what I'm getting. You've earned this stable person, committed person. It's very committed, very sincere. Keep this in mind. Let me leave you with this now, Libras. This person you haven't met yet that's coming. Um, you may think to yourself, they can't possibly, you know, maybe they just seem so good or so, you know, sincere. They really are that sincere. They really are. It, truly, it's not, they're not pulling you know, wool over your eyes. You can totally trust them. And with the seven cups, you may have them issues with that. You know, that can be too, not being able to emotionally feel it's connected. And so this kind of energy, Libra, is good as someone you can really connect with. You know, Capricorn's coming th through the strongest for me. So let me know what you think, guys. Do give me a like, thumbs up. If you can um, think of some platform to share this or might be appropriate, um, please do so. It used to help. And if you haven't subscribed, please do and hit that bell. Thank you, guys.